In case you guys haven't already heard, this week Adobe has done a massive upgrade to Lightroom and Camera Raw. And this affects the way we work with photographs. In fact, it just blows the roof off everything we've been able to do before, and that's working with color profiles. <laughs> So the name color profile really doesn't give justice to what we can get out of this. What it is, is it's actually an entire new preset system where we're creating our presets that are syncing between Photoshop and Lightroom. So when we create a preset, we can use it in both. But not just that, it can also use LUTs and other things. There's a lot of things I'm super excited about. So rather than just sit here and talk, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to show you exactly what they are, how they work, how they're going to change the way you work with photos from now on. And then at the end, I'm actually going to show you how to install custom profiles into, into Lightroom or Camera Raw. And also I've got a free set for you. So keep watching and I'll give you that, um, that link. All right. So here we are. We're working inside of Lightroom Classic right now. And in Lightroom Classic, if we go under the develop module, previously what we did is we would go down here into the calibration tab here and under the calibration we would click there and we would see the settings for the camera maybe the canon settings or different things like that now all we have is the version all of this has been moved up into the basic panel but there's so much more if we click on profile now we see here's adobe color and it used to just be, you know, one setting. Now we've got Adobe Landscape, Portrait, Vivid, all these different things. But rather than you show you here, let's just open this up. See this little icon here? This is our profile browser. And then when we click on this, this is going to just, this is so cool. Okay, so if we scroll down here to Adobe Raw, these are our profiles. And now these will be available only on a raw file. There's other things we can do with JPEGs, and we'll get to that in a second. But if you're working on a raw file, we've got all these different options now. And what this does is it changes the way that the image is debowered off the sensor. So when you're working with that raw file, before we had one option. Now we have all these different options. We have Adobe Color. And Adobe Color is now the standard. And you can see it's got a little bit more punch than it had in the past. So before it was Adobe Standard, now Adobe Color. You'll see a little bit more contrast, a little more color. And then we have other options like Adobe Landscape, Neutral, Portrait, Standard, and Vivid. And you don't even have to click on them. As we roll over, you can see the adjustments. And also we've got a black and white one. So these are not effects. These are actually the way that it develops the raw file. Now, if you're used to working with your camera and seeing those, which we've worked with before, if we look at camera matching, and here I was, I shot on a Canon camera, and here's the Canon Faithful Landscape Neutral Portrait Standard, and whatever camera it is you're working on, you'll see that. So we could go here and maybe use the landscape settings. But, you know, now we can compare it to the Adobe Landscape. Do we like the Adobe or the Canon Landscape better? We can now choose. All right, so this goes a lot further than this. If we go down here, we've got all these creative ones. And now we've got artistic and we can see we can apply effects now. And these will work on all kinds of images. This doesn't just work on raw files, it'll also work on JPEGs. So now we can apply different kinds of effects, kind of like filters. You know, we've got different sets here that come with it. Modern, vintage, you know, all that stuff. And also we can bring in our own, which I have here under Photoshop Cafe. So I've got my own kind of preset pack here that I'm going to give to you for free. In fact, the link is underneath in the comments in the show notes there. So just go ahead and download these after this tutorial and use them. And I'll show you later on how to install them. Okay, so the question you're probably asking is, what's different between these and presets? Because on the other side, notice we have presets. And if we go to our presets, we can roll over our presets here, just like we always have. And we can see, oh yeah, okay, there's our presets. Notice now the preview is a full screen preview, not just in a navigator panel. So we could apply these as well. Okay, so let me show you something. When we apply something here, such as maybe the cool tone, and I'm gonna close a profile browser. So notice our settings have not changed. However, if we were to click on a preset, notice it moves our sliders. So let me just hit reset for a second. So we're gonna reset everything. Right now we're in Adobe Color. We can change Adobe Landscape, for example. And notice it doesn't change any of these sliders. 
So now we can go in and we can, you know, recover our highlights, open up our shadows a little bit. We can just basically process this image. It's another new update, by the way, in a Lightroom uh, CC 7.3 is that we've got the dehaze slider now is a first class citizen and it's now available with all the other ones in the basic panel. All right, so as you can see there, we make those changes and then if we want to go to a different profile, like maybe portrait, notice how our changes are still staying there. So it's still modifying that, but it's not nuking all our settings every time we change it. In fact, if we go down here and we even go down to some of the custom presets like the underworld preset, notice there's my settings they haven't been changed. So that means when you're working on a photo, you can tweak it, try some profiles, and you don't have to change that. However, if we were going over here and we hit one of these, notice it goes to all its own settings. We go to a different one, see what's happening. And so we're losing those custom settings using the preset. So one of the cool things about working with these profiles is they also work with LUTs, which are lookup tables. And so you can create LUTs in Photoshop, you can do different things, and you get a much larger range of the amount of adjustments available here than you would just get from basic presets. So as you can see, profiles are much more powerful than just presets. However, you can use them hand in hand. So say for example, you know, I wanted to do this Adobe landscape here, and then I just wanna close it, and I wanna make some adjustments. So I just wanna recover my highlights, open up my shadows a little bit, maybe brighten it up and give it a little bit of warmth. Okay, cool. Let's give it just a, a bit more contrast, just for, you know, just for a nice style. Okay, so this is maybe a little blown out. Let's bring back the vibrance just a little bit. Okay, so we've created this modified profile, so to speak. Well, we can save that as a preset. If we go over here into our presets and hit plus, we create preset. And notice we've got treatment and profile at the very top. So if we want to include that, we can. Okay, so I'm just going to call this Marty because we've modified our profile. And we can just save this as a preset now. And notice the treatment and profile now can be included in the preset. So sometimes you can add it and it looks really cool, but maybe it's just a little bit strong. Well, here's a cool thing. We have a slider up here and we can adjust the amount. So if we go all the way to the left, it's not doing anything. And now we can start to blend in just a little bit of that profile. So we can just really refine it. And in fact, you can go all the way up to going, you know, just really crazy. You can double it going up to 200% to go for a really artistic kind of a feel. So the other things that we can do in here, if there's something you like, just roll over it. See that little star, click on the star and it will actually be added to the favorites at the top. So if we scroll up to the top, see there's the favorites there. And if you want something removed from the favorites, just click on that little star again. Notice we're viewing in the grid view. We can also change it to just a large view here where we can really see just without anything else, just these really big previews. And of course, if you want, you can also change it to the list view and you just, you know, you'll see the preview when you roll over, but you won't see the proof, uh, the preview next to them. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to install the custom profiles into Lightroom. And by the way, they're also going to be available inside a camera Roy in Photoshop. And I'll show you that and I'll show you where they are as well. Now I'm going to show you how to install custom profiles. And by the way, I've created a set for you. There's six profiles that you can grab for free. The link is underneath in the show notes. So what we want to do is under Lightroom, we're going to go to the preferences. And this is going to take us to the folder. If we go under our presets under preferences, you're going to see something that says show the Lightroom presets folder. So what we're going to do is you'll see this folder. Now let me just change it to a list view. It might make it easier. Now you can see Lightroom here. We're actually going to go up to where we can see camera raw. So if we see camera raw there, and if you want to see the whole path, I'll just show you there. That's the path. So it's under your name, under library application support, Adobe. So it's just a little quicker to go there the way I just showed you. Uh, of course, you can follow this path and I'll give you the path for Windows as well. All right. So once we've got there, we're just going to open it up and then we're going to look for a folder here. This is settings. And we can see, you know, there's all our presets and different things like that there. So to bring in your presets, we're going to use my set that I'm giving you here. And it's Photoshop Cafe Sample. And if I double click it, we can see 
that I've got six of the files here, the XMP files. Now, all we need to do is just drag and drop that folder in there, and that's it. And now that we've restarted Lightroom, if we want to go under our color profile, and there's our Photoshop Cafe profiles. You can see they're there, and of course we can roll over them and see what the result would be if we were to apply them to our image. All right, I've got a couple more things I want to show you. First of all, I'm going to show you how to install it inside of Lightroom Classic on Windows. We're going to have a look at installing it in CC very, very quickly. Then we're going to jump in and have a look at what happens inside of Camera Raw. There's some really cool stuff in there, so don't go away yet. In fact, um, I'll give you a link there which shows you the time code so you can jump to what you want to see. Okay, here we are in Windows. We're going to go up under Edit, Preferences, Show Lightroom Presets folder. And that's going to pop open. And now we just go up to Camera Raw. And then we're going to go under settings and we just drag and drop our set right in there. And then they're going to be available under here and we can see there's our presets. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom CC and we can find them up here if we click and we can go under our profiles. We can browse our profiles right there. There we go, there's all the profiles. And if we want to import our pack, we just simply go up here and then we choose to import profiles. And then we can grab the PSC ones. And notice they're still zipped and you actually want to just import the zip file, Photoshop Cafe, and they've been added. On top of that, we also get them in Camera Raw. Let me go over to Camera Raw right now inside of Photoshop. So here we are. And if we go under our main settings here you'll notice that the profile browser is also there and all our profiles are in there including the ones that we just imported the photoshop cafe ones so when we bring them into that one place they are now available inside of lightroom classic as well as camera raw from photoshop now let me just close this out i'm going to show you another thing quickly while we're in here if we go under our presets here and presets are still available but notice that out of these presets, we've now got all the ones here have now been brought in, including all the presets that I ever created in Lightroom. Look at this. They're all automatically imported into Camera Raw. So all your Lightroom presets now are always going to be available inside of Camera Raw. You don't have to convert them anymore. So what do you guys think about profiles and presets? Do you use them? If you do, let me know in the comments. Also, I have a question for you. I've really been thinking about sitting down and spending some serious time and developing some preset packs, some good professional preset packs that I would sell for a low price on the site. If you're interested in that, let me know as well. Anyway, if you like this tutorial, smash that like button into dust and don't forget to subscribe to Photoshop Cafe. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button right now and that little notification bell and you'll get a brand new tutorial every single week. So thanks for watching guys. Until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.